Right, so we're having some issues with the A823 chassis television. I can't remember the name of it. Um, it's got a stock fault <clears throat> where the original smoothing cap has failed. It's getting warm. Um, and this smoothing cap, it's a low tension smoothing and I think it does the 20 volt feed and the 18 volt feed for the IF panel oh, and some other things as well and it just means well the colour goes the picture sort of fades away it doesn't really work properly it's uh, it's failing and it's probably causing a lot of noise in the picture so to stop this from happening I'm going to take the power supply board out and we're going to change it and to change it, we're going to use the desoldering thing, the desoldering gun. <clears throat> um, and I'm just going to stick some new caps in there. I mean, I've got a replacement PSU board, but I'd rather not put that one in here. There's no point. I can just repair what's in here. It's uh, such a simple thing. Here's my set running test card F. Uh, doesn't look too bad, I guess. It's a bit out of focus for some reason, but I'll see if I can get that squared up since I've got the back off anyway. I've also got to re-glue this thing which is uh, that's come off so I have to reattach that one of the little spokes for the tuner. The old very cap tuner. Right power off. Let's get that power supply board out. I think I've worked on this particular PSU board before but just looking at it Definitely seems like someone's had a go at changing the, I think it's the little full bridge rectifier in there. I think that's what that is. So uh, that's nice. The only thing I think I did to this was maybe touch up a few solder joints. Um, and I had to put a new 5 amp fuse in there. As you can see. But we're going to uh, take out this cap. Um, pretty self-explanatory to be honest. So I'll disconnect that and uh, go from there I guess. There we are, all desoldered. I've used some flux on there to get the uh, thing out. I've also used the microfiber pen to just scratch off some more conducting space on that bridge rectifier. It's a shame because if I had a if I had a larger one, I would have installed one. Not that a, a bigger one would be needed, of course, but uh, just for the sake of installing one, I think it's on the low voltage side anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I've just got some more conducting space <coughs> there. I'm going to clean the clean the the PCB because you can see the old cap has actually leaked. Um, and there's the old cab there, you can see it's actually rusty, look. But you can see where it's leaked on this board. It's gone all the way down there, so... I'm going to mark up where this preset control is, just for the main HT. Just in case it gets bumped or moved, and then I think I'm going to clean the board, so... Noticing some of these uh, bleeder resistors have gotten quite toasty. Do I bother changing them? Mm. I kind of want to, but I don't think I've got any of those in stock. And I think they're just in parallel anyway, so let me test them and I'll see if I've got something suitable. Here we are then. I've changed the uh, smoothing cap or caps now, I guess. Uh, I've cleaned the board. I've got rid of pretty much most of the gunk that was on it. I didn't want to put too much effort into this. I mean, it was working fine before, so. You can see I've made more of an effort to make the connections for the full bridge a bit more nicer. Just scraped away using a microfiber pen, making the thing look a bit more nicer. Got some more contact surface area there. That's the smoothing caps. You can see how I've installed those. It's that one and that one. 
cleaned up the PCB. I've also changed out the... There were two 68Ks in parallel, which made about, I don't know, 30K or something. Um, 32K. I've put in a single 33K, because that's all I have. Now, this should be rated um, perfectly fine, and it should work all right, but... Uh, this um, is for the driver transistor, so or the switching copper transistor, so we'll see if that works okay. I hope it does, otherwise it'll be a bit of a waste of time, to be honest. I want to install this board now, let's see if the thing works. Okay, I'm going to reset the HT preset. Just make sure everything is all right. That is amazing. Well, there we are. Seems to be working really well, and now the voltage is quite stable. Um, well, it seems the tuner is a lot more livelier now. I've got to sort out the focus, but you know, it's the weekend and I'm supposed to be relaxing, so I think I'll leave that for another time. So there we are. Um, I hope you enjoyed that quick little video, and uh, I'll catch up with you soon. Take care, everyone.